Hello and welcome. Nice to see you again. How are you? Today we are going to talk about how to use AutoCAD, 3D Studio Max, and Unity to create interactive architectural workflow. In AutoCAD alone, we can create simple architectural workflow. And in 3D Studio Max, we can do even more. But they are all preset, so you can't change the path. You can only prepare your animation in before. Maybe your client want to do some interactive stuff. In that case, you need to have something more. And the Unity is the solution here. Unity actually is a game engine which allows us to create games. Okay? But now we can also use it for creating architectural workflow. So we are going to use these three software. AutoCAD for creating 2D for pen. I already created for you. Okay? And 3D Studio Max here is as a middleman. It read the drawing file and assign material and export to FBX file. FBX is a file format for 3D access exchange. Unity will be used for importing the FBX and create interactive architectural workflow. So this should be fun. So let's start. Okay. Before start, we have something to talk about. First, this is a basic workflow tutorial. So you can see the overall picture of how to do it. Okay. And we only apply basic material, lighting, etc. And requirement, you should know basic AutoCAD. 3D Studio Max, just basic will be fine. Okay. Or just follow what I do. Okay. So long as you know AutoCAD should be fine. And how about Unity? Unity, no need. I will show you those important steps you need to know. Okay. The procedure described here should also work in previous version. I am using 2019 CAD and Max and Unity 2018. But Unity 5, uh, previous version CAD and Max should be more or less the same. Okay. We do not cover advanced topics such as file management, UV mapping, night map, normal map, virtual reality, augment reality, unity programming, c -sharp, etc. This is a basic getting start course. Once you can do this yourself, you will have confidence to go further to explore all these keyword topics. Nowadays, when we learn, we learn keywords in university. So they give you keywords and you search Google and look for answer, things like that. Previous version of AutoCAD can export FBX directly, but in 2019, no more. And also, Unity does not support the material assigned inside AutoCAD. So I use Max as middleman. So this workflow work with any version instead of just a particular version of CAD, okay? And the topic we are going to cover will be correct scaling from CAD to Unity. The material you assign inside Max will be seen in Unity, okay? And the step to make the interactive architecture workflow work, okay? And this notes and the Tutorial material can be found uh, under the command area. You can always download and try it, and then try it with your own project. Okay? Part 1 AutoCAD to 3D Studio Max. For better result, you should draw your object in AutoCAD to size 1 to 1, with unit millimeter for metric unit and inch for imperial unit. For example, if you are using metric unit and the wall length is 6.6 .6 meter, then you should draw 
6,600. Okay. And second thing, put similar objects in the same layer. By doing that, when you open the file inside 3D Studio Max, you will see they group together and it is much easier for you to assign material. Okay, I will open the join. So click the open, select the file and open. To zoom in, we scroll mouse wheel forward. To zoom out, scroll mouse wheel backward. Okay, and to orbit around, go the switch and mouse wheel together and move horizontally or vertically. Okay, now I will zoom out a little bit so you get the picture. This is the the 3D model. And to see more clearly, I can click here, conceptual and X-ray, so you can see more clearly. You can see it has some basic uh, decoration around the wall line and the corners, etc. And the door. There's no need to assign material in AutoCAD for this workflow, okay? Because we are going to assign inside 3 d Studio Max. Make sure you do two, two things as said before. First, I type a command DI spacebar and check the distance from here to here. You can see it's a 6,600, 6.6 millimeter, uh, meter, okay? And also in the layer, I zoom out a little bit and then I click the layer. You can see I put different types of object into different layer. For example, if I turn off the 3D wall layer, you can see all the walls are off, okay? And, uh, and the four, etc. So, when the drawing is import inside 3D Studio Max, you will see that all these different layers will, will be as different objects. So it's much easier for you to assign material, okay? So that's the first step. Now I will close the file and I will start 3D Studio Max. Part 2, 3D Studio Max. Let's import AutoCAD file into Max. So click the file, uh, import and import. And then select the cat drawing, open. This is very important. First, the incoming file unit, you should select millimeter. If you are using imperial unit, you select the corresponding one, okay? And also you should check the rescale. And you can see the actual size after that. Divide AutoCAD primitive by. Make sure you select a layers box as node hierarchy. By default, Max will give you this one. Then you have trouble with assign material. Okay, make sure you select this one. And layers. Now we choose which layer we want to import. We just need to import all these 3D layers with object. Okay, and OK. Now it's import. Let's click this maximize viewport and then you can check the size by go to the create panel here. You see this is called helpers. Click on it and inside you will see tape. And then you move your mouse over here, right click, turn on the vertex snap. Okay? and make sure this is on. Then you click and jerk to the other side. Now, 3D Studio Max will tell you the size, okay? So this is correct. So next we will assign material into different objects. So we first minimize it. And then we turn on the Scene Explorer, 
if this is not on you turn it on if this is already on no need okay I turn it on and I move it back here okay by default it should be there okay now you can see inside AutoCAD you put similar object into different layer and in Max now they become individual object for example the wall you can see when I click the wall you can turn on and turn off and see it okay so the wall as a single object okay each layer will become single object in Max okay make sure this button is on because if this is by default sort by layer then it will look different okay change it back to hierarchy the material editor button is over here you click and then it will load up the material editor and then you should check your render setting so go to rendering render setup here we can choose the renderer the rendering engine 3d studio max support different rendering engine but for export to unity you should choose Genai renderer because because the other one unity just can't understand okay so this is the one you should select scan i renderer and then close it there are many materials but the one that unity support is the sender one so scan i sender click and jerk inside this area this is the area you put your sample in and then you can assign material into object okay first i will double click on the text then it will give me the property of this material all this information if you double click on this icon it will show you the preview okay so inside here you can assign different color etc but now I want some texture some image to do that I will click here diffuse and then click and drag you will see a red line release select general and then bitmap from here you select the one you want for example I want to assign the the texture on of the four so I will select let's see this one okay and open now it is there and then I can assign this into the four by select the four here and then right click on this label assign material to selection okay or you can also click this and click and jerk onto the four okay that's the other way I may just turn off the ceiling so you can see the four okay and but I can't see the material because you have to tell 3D Studio Max to show material this is here this is the button first you select the material and click so say material in viewport so click it now you can see it, but it's not clear that's because the scale of the image you should double click on the bitmap label now it will give you the information of this map Make sure the real world is off in this case we adjust by the tile like one one means you put a single image into this object instead let's change it to 10 by 10 so you can see it looks better may try 50 by 50 now you can see it looks good because the procedure will be more or less the same so I will just do this one I already prepared the file with more material now I will open it file open and the file okay if I click on the material editor here you can see I assigned a few more 
material. I'm going to export it into FBX format. So I will click on File, Export, and Export. And give it a name. Make sure embed media is checked so that the texture, the image will come with the file. Also, make sure unit automatic is checked so the scale will be correct. And just leave all this as default. No need to check the camera and lights. We can assign lights and camera inside Unity. Okay? And leave all other settings as default. So just OK. Before we go to the next part, Unity. I also want to talk more about the, the scale. So you go to Customize, Unit Setup. Inside here, you can see this is Display Unit Scale. And you can change this whenever you want. It is just for your convenience to see the size of object in millimeter or in meter, etc. It doesn't affect the actual size of the womb. Okay? So I will select millimeter. And for the system unit setup, if you click inside, you see it lets you select one unit represent how much in inch or millimeter etc. No need to change this one. Okay? Let's 3D Studio Max handle this. This is actually for precision. If the model you are going to create is really large, you should select a larger unit, such as feet or meter, things like that. If the model is a typical worm or mechanical product, things like that, then this one will be fine already. Okay. No need to change that. This is not because you are using imperial or metric unit, things like that. No need to. So just cancel and then OK. Park V Unity. I assume you haven't installed Unity. So to download and install, you go to this website, Unity VD. So right click and copy. I open a browser, click and right click and paste it, okay, and space bar. This is Unity, and then you can click on the Get Unity. Now, for personal use and beginner, you just need to use personal, okay, unless you learn uh, quite a lot of money, then you will choose others, okay? So this is the one we use. Just click it, and then make sure you accept the terms and download installer for window, okay? So just click and just follow the snap step, next, 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 okay? Because I already installed it, so I will not install it, okay? So that's the first way. And there's another important thing. Just the Unity is not enough. You also need to download the standard access. In previous version, version 5, they come with the standard access. Standard access is important here because later I will put a third person prefabs, the actual walkthrough character into the model, which is from the standard access. So you will also need to go to this website Unity store to download it. So I will go to that website. Okay. And this is the one. So you just click and again save it and run it. Then it will be installed inside the Unity. Okay. So I assume you follow all these steps and successfully install the. Unity. Next, we will start it.
When start, it will first ask you to create a new project. So you can click here new. Okay, give it a name. Okay, and the location of your Unity project. Okay, make sure this is 3D and make sure you click this button at add access package inside check this one so that's why we need to install that okay so done and then create project by the way when you install unity it will ask you to log in things like that you just follow the step to register an account okay Okay, loading finish. So this is Unity, an environment for you to build game at the same time for architecture workflow. In the middle here is the scene. You put all your access, your room, your character, everything, put it inside here. Okay. On the left side, this is showing you what's inside. Okay. And below this is your access. The first thing you should put in the scene is the ground so that your character can walk around. So I will go to game object, 3D object, and then plan. Okay. And then I can adjust the size, position, etc. For example, I will put it at 0, 0, and C0. Okay. And for the height, zero two. So it is on the ground. You can see Y axis is the height in Unity, which is different from Cat and Max. So I put them all zero. So this this is on the ground, and I change the size here. One means one meter. I, for example, give me fifty, and C axis fifty. Next, I will put in the character. This is in the axis. Sanded access, okay, and then you go to the character. In the character, you will see first person or third person. Third person, you only see your hands, and third person means you see the character too, okay. I will select the third person, and from here, I will open it and then select prefabs inside that you will see the third person now i can jerk and drop inside you see the character is inside now okay check the height of it mm, i will also make sure it is just sitting standing on the ground so the height is zero mm, the x and z axis not quite important but i Somehow just put it zero zero. Okay, so now it is at the origin. Okay, uh, before we put in the 3D Studio Max room, we can pay around it. So this is the place we build up the scene. But to see the actual result, we need to click this pay button, just like we are paying game. So click the pay. Now you can see the character, and you can move it by the left and right and up and down arrow, okay? The character will first rotate. For example, if I click the right key and continue to click it, it will first turn and then keep going in that direction. The same for up and down key, okay? Very interesting. Okay, now you can see you might walk the character away. So we should also control so that the camera will follow the character. How to do that? First, stop your play mode. Check the main camera inside the third person controller, like this. Then when you move the character, the camera will also move. Okay. For example, I play again. You can see now as I am walking, it will follow. But this is too far away, so we 
we adjust the camera position we stop it first and then I can click on this screen go to the top view scroll middle mouse view down to zoom out scroll middle mouse view up to zoom in okay so I will just zoom out and move the camera so that I can see it more clearly okay mm, maybe that much and I can also click on other axis to see the angle for example I will mm, move it up a little bit if I want I can do rotate so rotate a little bit this is like AutoCAD okay and similar control okay I can also rotate so I think this is okay then when we pay again this time we can see the character more clearly and we are controlling it and the camera will follow it okay so I stop it to orbit around in unity you do this the keys are there so to key to the key to walk the character left right up down and space bar to jump okay hold the right mouse for orbit hold mouse wheel for pen scroll mouse wheel for zoom okay so hold the right mouse button to orbit around okay hold the middle mouse wheel to pen okay zoom in zoom out okay next I will put in the room I will make a folder so it is more organized so right click on the access area and create and folder give it a name for example max okay and then I double click open it and then I drag and drop the FBX inside the max folder okay and now I can drag and drop the access into the scene you see the size of it will be correct automatically you can see mm, but no, it seems there's no material inside the reason is you need to do one more step to see the material first you click this and then you go to inspector material and click this extract texture and select the same folder as the max so just select and do the same just select okay now it extract all the material now you can see it has all these material things like that now you should be able to see the material inside the, your model you can see it here okay so let's pay it so I pay and now I will control the character and go inside the room okay so I go inside you see magic I can go through the wall very interesting right and it's is nice view inside but this is kind of dark so we need to fix these two things first we can put in some light and the second thing is we can control so that the character will not be able to pass through the wall okay to do that first I will stop it okay and then to put in the light first I will click the Y so now I'm in the top view maybe I, it's better click here and select the Y frame so I can easier see what's inside the room so I can easy see inside the room okay and then I will go to game object light and I just put some pawn light okay so pawn light and then I can move it around for example I put it here okay I will put some more so light and pawn light and light and pawn light okay just put three of them one inside this room 
and one inside somewhere here. Okay, so and now I will go to the other direction by click on that. You can see they are about. So I need to move it down inside the room. Maybe I click this button so I can see more clearly. Okay, so this button so you can see the awful graphic view. I will move it up about the door and this one and this one. Okay, so now I have lights. And before we continue, take a look at this model. I click it. You can see the position is still point two. That means two hundred millimeter above ground. If I set up the collision, then the four will block the way. So I need to move it down. I draw the four slab here, zero point two meter. So I will change it to minus zero point two. Okay. So now the four slab will be on the ground. Let's set up some collision so that the character will not pass through the wall. You can select from the scene here, but I think it's easier now to select from the list on the side. You see, I can select the wall, and then you see this is the wall object, and then there's a add component. So I will click the add component, and from here, I select physics and then mesh collider. I am giving it mesh collider property. So when the character try to pass through it, it won't allow it because there's a coll collision. Okay. So this is how you set up the wall. Let's try. So I will pay. And just go in this direction and walk. You see, I now cannot pass through the wall. Okay. So I will just move. Okay. Yeah, I can still pass through that. Yeah, because I haven't assigned collision. So, but I just don't want to. It's easier sometimes. Okay. So now you can see the lights inside the room, and you can walk inside. Okay, so you are doing architectural walkthrough, and you are doing it by like playing a game. Okay. Once you are happy with your architectural walkthrough, you can make it a program so that you can run it. On a PC or iPhone or Android, and then show it to your customer. Okay, to do that, first you stop it, and go over to File, Build Setting. In here, you can select the one you want: PC, Mac, iPhone, Android, etc. Okay, and then Build and One. Okay. Uh, this is beautiful. But I am not in this direction, so I, <laughs> uh, I haven't played game for a long, long time. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, by the way, you can press space bar to jump. Okay, so jump. But I will turn to this direction, and then. So now I can walk inside the room. You see, this is the architectural workflow. You can imagine if you put in the material things like that, it will look great. After you finish this one, if you are interested with the Unity, there are lots of resources in the internet, and actually you can program it so that you can, for example, click a button allows you to change the texture of the wall. For example, the wallpaper. So the client may choose the wallpaper they want. You see, there are so many possibility here. So enjoy your game, enjoy AutoCAD, enjoy Unity, and enjoy 3D Studio Max. So see you next time. Bye bye.